we have to make the distinction between Wall Street and the rest of the business community. The rest of the business community has no voice. They feel disenfranchised. They don't have special interests backing them. They don't have political action committees backing them. The small business owner, the Main Street business owner, gas stations, plumbers, pizza parlors, they've been left out of the process. They're completely disenfranchised for decades of big business running politics in this country. Well, Wall Street can take care of itself. Plenty of money, plenty <laughs> of influence on both Republicans and Democrats. It's the rest of the people that need a voice. That's why they're gravitating to outsider candidates. And that group is here to stay. And that movement is here to stay. And that's going to represent change in American politics. And that's a good thing, Trish. We should be happy about it. Larry, this is what people are frustrated with. I mean, you know, so Donald Trump out this morning in the media saying he's going to come out now with his tax plan. And guess what, folks? He's going to go after the hedge fund and he's going to go after the private equity industry and all these guys who basically aren't paying any tax because they're counting their quote unquote uh, investment as income. And so they're That's paying right. less tax than anyone. And, and I think that, that Americans are frustrated by that. They, they know that, they hear that, and yet you got politicians out there like Hillary Clinton that don't want to go after the hedge funds because guess what? Those are the guys funding her campaign. It's true, Trish. Look, the wealth gap has never been greater in this country than it has been over the last eight years. The gap for the small business owner, the middle class in this country have been sharing the burden long enough. Look, they've been subsidizing this recovery. Zero percent interest rates. That means the retiree earns zero yeah. on the savings that they it's put bad. in the bank mm -hmm. so that other groups can borrow that money. It's enabled capital formation, but the wealth has been created at the top. So those rules do need to change and it hasn't benefited the majority of Americans, but subsidizing Wall Street's not necessarily going to solve that problem. It's not going to no, fix or, the or issue. Neither is Wall Bernie Street. Sanders' proposal. Is it